Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to more Let's Play Rayman Origins. In the last episode, we made it through the Luscious Lakes and now we're going to the Angsty Abyss. And we're starting the Angsty, Angsty Abyss with Why So Crabby? And if you hadn't guessed, it's a water level. Well, it's a water world, actually. Uh, again, I, I'm quite appreciative of the water mechanics in this game. Definitely controls better than some other games. Okay, that was... Okay. I also noticed uh, on the map screen, the very next level is a mosquito level. I just cannot get enough of that mechanic, even though it really isn't the greatest thing since sliced bread. But, yeah, well. That's what the developers want. <laughs> Let's just get that and get you, rid of you. And let's get these lums. Get this king lum. And then swim as normal. Ah, uh, this cannot be the end of it. There's gotta be an electing cage somewhere. No? Okay. Whatever. Is there one around here? No. Get rid of you. Oh, there's totally one up there. No, okay. I just wasted a heart for no reason. Cool. I like the music here, though. I really wish it was still the, uh... Oh, I imagine that's death. I still want it to be the, um... The original, like, water level music. Cause I like that level's music. I like the water level music. Like with the with the acapella. It's quite nice. This is a nice orchestral piece and it's, it's interesting to have a nice orchestral piece and everything's so hectic and then, you know, just immediately cut to this. <laughs> Not even bummed out that I died there. <laughs> Just means I get a better chance at getting these. I'm gonna wait for you to go by and then do this. Okay, screw that one lum. I don't. I don't care. It's one lum. It's not the end of the world. Watch me get like 299 lums for this whole level. Yeah. Then one lum will be the difference between... Oh, ah, then one lum will be the end of the world is what I meant to say. Okay, actually going in with a heart this time. Swimming against the current. Never a good idea. Never swim against the current. Actually, wait, no. Yes, swim. always swim against the current if you ever find yourself in that situation. Because, actually, I don't know. I've always, I've always wondered that because different uh, sources have told me different things as a kid. Like, if you're in a current, like I've heard, swim with the current as to not like be constantly fighting it. But I've also heard like, you know, don't fight the current. No, well, well I just said that. I've heard don't fight the current because it could like rip you apart or something, but I've also heard to fight the current because it's the only other way to go and I don't know. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, uh, listen to a lifeguard and not me. <laughs> I have not found a single cage yet and that's worrisome. Very worrisome. I'm hoping I find a cage soon. Whoa. Hello. Oh, I found one and I got killed on the way in. Alright. So now we're back here. We can get rid of you and then swim down. That's not a cage. It's a skull coin. 
now I'm even more like worried because I feel like I'm just missing every cage, which is never good. Because I've not, I've honestly not heard help me at all throughout this entire level. I hope I'll find one. I hope I'll find both of them, actually. Wait. I, yep, there's one. But is this the first or second? Please be the first. Oh god, please be the first. Let's try that again. Please be the first. Okay, die. Die. Just need to get you. There we go. Please be the first. Please be the first. No, it's the second. Ugh, I'll have to find the first later. Very annoying, though. Oh, hey, another crab. Swim under his leg. Kill him. Kind of want to get. There we go. Nice. No issues. Whoa. Okay, there we go. You're all bouncing around. Which is not fun. In fact, it's very infuriating. Oh, we made it. I want this heart. Thank you. Oh, was I supposed to be following these? <laughs> oh, well. They can live. They're not getting in my way. You're getting in my way, but you also get to live. And this is the last cage. Only a couple uh, enemies for this one. And I died. Let's try that one again. Okay, so get rid of you two. Get rid of you. Uh, okay. Don't know what happened there, because I definitely pressed the button. Get rid of you. And then get rid of you. Get rid of you. And be just be. No, I wanted to get one more just so I didn't have to end on 249. It's just such an awkward number to end on. But I'll see you guys back in the level for the first cage that we missed. And we also got one Electune. Oh wow, the first cage is really up here. And we get a mosquito section. Why? I'm st I'm never gonna stop questioning the logic behind 80 quadrillion freaking mosquito sections. It's just it doesn't make sense. What is so special about the mosquito levels? Jeez, but there's the first cage, and I'll see you all at the end of the level. And there we go, that's an extra four into the total, making it 160. And now we only need five to do the tricky treasure back in Luscious Lakes. Or, wait, is that, is that what it was called? I don't know. But now we're in a mosquito level. Uh, is there anything back here? Nope. Cool. Well, let's go ride our mosquito again. I just, uh, I've, I've said all I can about the mosquito levels. And we have to deal with the freaking spikes as well. That's not going to be fun. We have to deal with the random spikes. Well, not really random, but... Spikes that I can't really see the placement of because everything looks the same. 
Oh, hello. But yeah, I, I've said my piece about uh, the mosquito levels. And to be honest, it's... it's eh. It is a fun mechanic sometimes. I will give it that. But it's just annoying having about 75% of this game be just it. And don't try and tell me it's not 75% of the game. Because it sure as hell feels like it. Alright, let's just dodge all of these because they're s ah. And I, it's also combining a mechanic that I don't like being as abundant as it is, and the mechanic that I just don't like. It's very, very annoying. I'm doing really well, though. Like, I have not died, and I'm really surprised by that. Whoa, okay. I forgot that the, uh, an uh, what are they called? Anglerfish. I forgot that they actually give out light. Uh, so when I uh, killed that one back there, I was just wondering why everything was getting darker. But it all made sense after it clicked in my head. Uh, this is annoying because I don't know how far in I am or how much there is. Oh, how much there is left. Struggling to speak because I think I've fried my brain. And there's like nothing to say on these <laughs> mosquito levels. Oh god, we reached the end. Thank. Oh god, thank god. What? Is there anything down here? No, you're just. Uh, okay, just a bit of water for no reason. And we didn't even get... Okay. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> just the small little sound bite of it just screaming yay. Um, I'm going to quickly check. Yeah, we only have two more levels in the Angsty Abyss. Well... In the next episode, we're going to be finishing off the Angsty Abyss, starting with Beware of Minnie Murray. See you guys then, and goodbye.